Good morning from Alondra Park in Los Angeles. This is like Sunday morning, perfect weather. I had to get out of the house. I've been working since Friday on a new project, and I've been kind of locked up in my cave doing the uh, 16-hour-a-day thing, and I needed to get out and get out and get some fresh air. I thought I'd take advantage of this time to introduce you to the project that I'm working on, and I'm going to take you there in a minute. It's a website. So with the impeachment starting to happen this past week, I was thinking about how to, you know, this is going to be kind of historic. And the aspect of it that particularly interests me is what was really going on in the Ukraine. There are the two elements to it, the crowd strike aspect in which the uh, Trump is, you know, saying that the entire origins of the Russian investigation were bogus and that this has a Ukrainian connection. And then, of course, there's the Biden corruption angle to it as well, um, which he's, you know, putting forward. I, I want to document this. I have the opportunity to, first of all, go through and derive from the media everything that I can find. And secondly, I have access to U.S. policymakers who I can be talking to. And thirdly, and most importantly, I believe I have access to a number of the players in the Ukraine who are central to this. And I'm going to be getting information directly from there. Um, I want to be careful. I'm not going to start promoting the idea that I'm going to be the one that breaks, <laughs> breaks the stories on this. Um, it, that's not the promise. The promise is that I will create a website that will be a repository of legitimate information, good commentary, thoughtful analysis of this whole situation. And you'll know, see where it leads. I mean, it's you know, I just I'm going to be looking and thinking and reading anyway. So I figured I might as well have the website as a place to kind of make it organized and have it be somewhat productive. So let's go take a look at the website. Uh, I'm going to let you take one more look at the beautiful Los Angeles Sunday morning and say goodbye. And let's go on and take a look at the website. Okay, so here we are. This is my project of the weekend. It's called the Whistleblower Files. And uh, I have sort of a simple tagline, which is a former CIA officer's file on Ukraine Gate. It consists of what you see here. I'm going to take you through it. You're seeing the blog posts here. So the idea, as I mentioned before, was to try and create a kind of a comprehensive website that thoroughly and fully documents what's going on and keeps track of what's happening day to day. So the blog is kind of self-explanatory, but these are blog posts. You can see some of the titles here. Um, on some of the different aspects of this uh, this story, so I've already got about six or seven, but I'm I'll, you know I'll, I'll be adding a lot more of those. Um, let me take you through the what else is here. So this is the timeline, and uh, this timeline is something that I've worked quite hard on. This is designed to be a absolutely thorough timeline that kind of takes you through, I mean, it actually begins with when Ukraine got independence from the Soviet Union and uh, on from there, but quickly gets to 2014 when the main parts of the story began. And what we have in here is um, all of the major beats in the story, and I'm continuing to add to this as I get more information with links taking you to subsources and things like that. So the idea is that this is a kind of a living document that'll continue to grow and have things added to it. It will become like a core uh, a resource for being able to take a deep dive to the extent that anyone wants to take a deep dive and be able to figure some things out. So, like I said, it takes about 20 minutes to go through this whole piece of it, but this is a, you know, a significant one. Then we have the players. So I'm concentrating right now on the Ukrainians. Um, but for each person that's a player in this scenario, there's going to be, you'll be able to click and go to a page that'll tell you the story about that person. So we have Victor Shokin, who was the prosecutor who got fired. Yuri Litsenko was the second prosecutor after that. Sergei Leschenko has been in the news uh, lately, as well as Andrei Telezhenko. Uh, Yermak is one of the close advisors of... Uh, Zelensky, who met with Giuliani, and so on and so forth. Uh, Slashevsky is the is the uh, the oligarch, the owner of Burisma. Kolomoski is kind of the biggest oligarch, who's considered to be the one in control of a lot of things. Um, so anyway, this is the idea, and so I'll expand this. 
Now the documents, these are the source documents. So we have all the source documents, the call transcript. You know, we start with that. Um, there you go. And all of the other ones are here as PDFs. Um, go back to that. So you see the other, I'm going to add to these as they come along. Then an about page about the, the site and what it's what we're trying to do here and something about me. Um, so, you know, I, I really want to build this out into something substantial to where it becomes a valuable resource for anyone who is trying to you know, do a deep dive into this subject matter and be able to find answers to their questions that are reliable and that are fact-based um, and so on. There'll also be opinion, but it'll be clearly labeled as such. And, uh, you know, we're just going to see where this leads. I'm not totally sure if it ends up being something that will, other people will want to come here or whether this just becomes my file that I keep for myself and maybe for a few others, but definitely it helps me feel like I'm, uh, I'm turning my, all the endless hours that I would be spending on this anyway, into something more productive. And, uh, yeah, I did this once before with a site called the John Carter Files, and it led to a book. And the book ended up being pretty successful. So I'm not saying that's where this is going to go, but that's that's kind of uh, something to think about. So, and as we sign off here, I want to remind you the the YouTube channel, which is where this video is being played. Please sign up to subscribe if you would like to. I'll be adding more. And, um, yeah, trying to kind of keep this stuff going. So thanks a lot, and I'll sign off for now.